Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two Run, where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with two uh, soldiers per mission. It's time for a supply rate. Um, I was looking forward for that uh, because it will give us um, everything that we need. Basically a lot of supplies, a lot of alien alloys and a lot of um, uh, elarium crystals. The only problem is we will probably not be concealed. I think there was uh, the um, overall dark event that allowed us to not be concealed. And the problem with the side trap is if we gain an additional conceal uh, charge, that usually means the overall mission is a bit more difficult. Renvin and, um, and uh, Zirkim are going to go through this mission. Zirkin, pretty much same equipment as before. Renvin, since we haven't upgraded the shotgun yet, we're missing Alarium Crystals to do so. I gave him the highest level of a plasma weapon um, of uh, rifles, which is still better than the shotgun. Like on average, it, it simply deals more damage uh, and can be used from a higher distance. So we can maybe use his uh, abuse the high ground advantage a bit more. I am still debating with myself uh, whether or not we want to use a spider suit. Mm. And you know what? Uh, since I'm just debating that with myself, I guess we're going to go for make armor available. We're taking that off of our off of our um, sniper, and instead we're going to go for one grenade less, but uh, the grapple hook instead will give us um, a flexibility on movement uh, for Zirkim, faster movement and specifically high ground. He has death from above as well. So I am hoping that that will give us access to locations where we usually couldn't um, use the high ground. Um, bit, I'm prioritizing our ability to take, uh, to take a good position over the pure firepower of grenades. Overall, we are currently in month number nine, so it's going quite well. Once we do have, or end of month number nine, I should uh, rather say, it's almost month number ten, which means with month number ten, a couple of really nasty aliens unlock. Sectopods uh, will soon become uh, the standard. I think everything else, we, we already have all of the other um, aliens unlocked. So that's one of the th uh, th uh, topics. The other one is we are still not in the end game. I mean, a couple of our weapons have been upgraded, but it's a really tedious uh, process if you are missing the resources. So this mission here is actually therefore quite important. Not as important as to lose anyone on this mission, which means if things turn out sour, we're just going to leave. So, we all gain uh, additional charge of uh, the conceal ability, and you can see we lost conceal right away, right? Which doesn't mean that our additional charge of the conceal ability wouldn't work, and I still want to use that. Grappling hook for some repositioning. Taking some good old positioning uh, here. There was a Spectre plus an Armora. Let's see what we can do with uh, Renman here. I mean, this here is a solid position as well. And luckily to our continent bonus, we get another operative, in this case Garcilia Garcia. What a nice name, <laughs> Garcilia Garcia. Typical random name. Um, so we're actually running with three on this mission. I should have... Um, paid more attention to her 
I knew that she might be coming and I mean if it's very difficult it's very likely that she's going to be here <sighs> unfortunate okay so we're taking a look at uh, her abilities she gains health when anyone nearby her is taking damage Combined with the Shogun, so stun lancer topic, it's actually a problem because she gets a lot of health back when the stun lancers take damage. She enters Overwatch, which is not a problem for us, and she can't be hit by Overwatch, which, um, on contrary, is a problem. Bewildering attack, uh, three plus attacks will deal a lot of damage to her, and we don't have a Reaper. Okay, good enough. So we did trigger those. Interesting. That's an elite specter, by the way, uh, with the 25 hit points. I mean, we could move in and effectively use uh, use the Bladestorm ability, but I think we're better off just rapid firing. This here should actually be quite successful. So let's give it a try. If we hit both, we would kill it. Nice. Check it before you get too close. So we got untouchable and implaceable. That's why I'm moving up. Mainly because we can't be hurt at the moment and Bladestorm will still trigger. Nice little extra hit. That should still trigger Bladestorm, to my understanding. Alright, the obsession is removed. That's good. Moving up further. Again, we don't know where the Chosen is at the moment. All we know is uh, one more turn most likely and it's going to be here. I will not use the, uh, the Axe so far. Nor will I use Chain Shot. We're reloading. And there's a pretty solid chance that we're critting him. Plus, Blade Storm should deal enough damage to give him the rest. So, if the Chosen started here two turns, I think she'll be running down here, which might be a clever move just to go all the way back. We do have our grappling hook. In case... Oh, shit. Well, things are not uh, going so well for us. It's going to be a solid hit. Unfortunately, Blade Storm uh, missed again. This will be a trigger. Oh, no, wait. Are we still... No. We're not concealed. So this will be a trigger. Wait. We are concealed. Ooh, okay. 
Yeah, I know. Okay, so the concealment works independent uh, between all of uh, the between all of uh, the uh, operatives. Moving up. That's affirmative. Yeah, we still haven't really found the chosen one. And I don't want to find uh, to trigger another pack, so we're moving back. And we're reloading because we won't um, take an overworld shot against the Chosen anyways. Well, we could have gotten an overworld shot against those guys. Fortunately, now the Chosen will come on top of it. Luckily, we were untouchable. What? One of the elders chosen. I am coming for you, Commander. Her her comments don't even make sense. We have never been captured by her. Nor did she take anything back. Probably just a bit too far away. We need to deal uh, with them this turn. Let's see, where's... Where was the mech? Did the mech run into the train? Hmm. I knew it was here somewhere. Give me a second. No. I'm surprised uh, that the mech somewhat disappeared. So the Sun Lancer is definitely our main target. Need to get rid of it. Question is, do we take high ground? Because we still have deaths from above. I think we're going to position ourselves here. Very nice. That's a good position. Before we do that, how about... Okay, so let's do the setup the right way, shall we? This here is the first action. Nice little shredding. Good job, good job. How clumsy of you. This could be a single kill. The other alternative is hitting both of them. Which is probably the better choice, to be honest. Yeah, I didn't quite hit both of them, but that's okay.
So we do have death from above, which means we can just kill one. Still have implacable and death from above. Hmm. Yeah, we wouldn't really be able to reach anyone except this guy here. So let's see if we can actually hit him. Probably not enough in order to make a meaningful difference. Let's run and gun, reload, so we still have time to uh, make a chain shot. And the chain shot should kill him. First shot, by the way, killed him, so we're still having death from above. That's great. And that's not going to kill him, but we're definitely upsetting him. Probably should have done that first. Now, we, we are untouchable, so this is not going to mean much to us. And now the only problem is the chosen one. Shogun? No, Harbor Wave. Harbor Wave is a problem. Can be quite nasty. All right, move into here. Getting the soldier back up. So what we're going to do is we're going to transfer a teamwork ability over. Because we only need one ability uh, with um, with Renman here. Renman is killing this guy. Very good. He is dead from above and implacable. Problem is he's going to burn. So let's position him here for now. And we can still make a decision if we want to hunker down or take a shot and uh, just take the damage for it. Since we now have two actions on um, Zirkim here, Zirkim can make sure that she is out of cover and properly shredded. Plus still has another action left over. Unfortunately, not only a 64% chance, 50-50 if he chain shots. Hmm. You can't really grapple upwards. I think I'm going to be greedy here. Uh, it's not enough. I mean, even if we hit both of the shots, we're still looking at too many hit pop. Although, wait a second, uh, she has bewildering wounds. No, 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 I'm wrong. Let's go. Let's try to hit her. Nice little hit. Come on, one more. Good job, man. See, now we're talking. So this here could actually mean that would be the bewildering wounds stack up. This here could actually mean that we're going to kill her. There we go. Yeah, so it was good to be greedy at this point. The burning, unfortunately, will deal 
probably two points of damage. I think untouchable, unfortunately, still yeah doesn't prevent you from burning. <laughs> We're hunkering down. Good. We kill. We cleared two packs. We cleared two packs and are pretty much on the right track, I suppose. Going back into concealment. So we can scout a bit more. I would guess we're probably up against one or two more packs. Probably two more packs, to be honest. But the ones that we have fought actually had a lot of hit points. Oh, look at you. There is an Archon. Yeah, that might be one of the last packs. Yeah, it's not moving, which means it's up to us uh, to make the first move. Most of our abilities are very much ready, so might as well start with um, taking down the Archon. Let's go, rapid fire. Nice little first shot, great hit. And a very nice second hit. Great. We're grappling. I love the mobility. It's just enormous. Still, this guy might not drop dead. Let's see if we can soften him up with Garcia. We might even be killing it. Or we're just missing right away. Good. Seeing that the Archon is more difficult to hit, I'm actually going to move into full cover, modify the original plan. That's, um, hmm. Yeah, since we can't crit it, I am actually going for a chain shot here. Yeah, because the damage was too low for an, for a single shot. And he still had chances to dodge. Which means Zirkim has untouchable currently. Oh, wow. That indeed does not feel good. He somewhat forces our hand, which I don't like. Advanced Expanded Magazine, 3 out of uh, 16, wow. That's not good at all, and we're having yet another pack. Good. Renman cannot scout anymore. 
We're going to take Garcia, the expendable, take the front. So I think we're just taking a normal shot here. We can't get both of them into the saturation fire. Hmm, but what we could do is put saturation fire back there and get rid of the tree. I think that's what we're going to do. Nice little 12 damage on top of it. The reason why I wanted to do it is basically Move into here, taking a 100% shot, killing the Spectre, that is Implaceable and Death from Above, there is the Death from Above, and the Implaceable, Implaceable moves us to here, we have Untouchable at the moment, so we can't be hurt, we're taking Run and Gun, then Reload, and then chain shot for the mutant, which should kill it. There we go. Probably still could have played it a bit more clean. I mean, we took two shots because of bad RNG. And that is usually the reaction or the consequence of me not calculating all of the possibilities in. For instance, our Bladestorm missed. And that's just a bummer, but it is what it is. Oh, 18 days of grave wounding. Gosh. Right, so whilst he is out of uh, service, as soon as Roby's negative traits are gone, we're going to deal with uh, Zirkim's negative traits, which I think he has two of them. If I'm not mistaken, he has two fears. So it'll take 20 days as well. Come on, scroll faster. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he does not. Renman certainly has some, so we need to work on that. But clearly not whilst he is... Um, whilst he is in the uh, sick bay. Uh, by the way, let us uh, let me shortly see. Oh, nice. Look at that. We got... Wow. We're up to 140 alloys. 80 Elerium. That's pretty impressive. Which means, if I am not mistaken, we're just missing money in order to upgrade the armor. Yeah, supplies. There we go. Look at us. Wow. That was extremely extraordinarily uh, helpful. Now, let's get some supplies by selling shit at the black market. Avenger plotting new course. And very soon, 
very very soon we should um, get the scanning here for alien alloys and more Ilarium. nice specter corpses are in demand that's perfect so we want to sell them can sell a couple of chrysalid corpses without any problem also a couple of cores I mean we need them but not that many Good, which means that I think we are able to upgrade our armor. That's the first thing we're going to do. Nice. I like it. I like it. We have now almost reached the end game. Storm gun is the only thing. A bit more Elarium and some more supplies. And yeah, of course, the other two weapons, the heavy weapon and the sniper, still needs upgrades as well. But we're gradually getting there. I think the armor makes a lot of difference. Let's continue building the radio relay, and afterwards, we're getting more uh, Elarium and more alien alloys. That was important. We now have defense matrix uh, matrix for next uh, for next month. Unfortunately, we get the uh, the the uh, bulbs uh, bulb ups, and we're not even using the skirmisher. So that's too bad. We're missing alarium crystals for the beam cannon. And we're missing the Archon Autopsy for the Psi Lance. So I think we're going to go with Archon Autopsy here. Takes nine days, which is a long time. Hmm. You know what? Let's do the Advent Data Pad first and then we can go for the Archon Autopsy. That is okay. Retribution is not uh, a problem. This here is a problem. That's why we need the defense matrix. And we should get rid of the major breakthrough. This here is a problem as well. This is okay. I don't know the hidden event. We don't have any other orders that make sense. I think we're still good with the orders that we do have and I think we still need to get some more supplies having 270 there is certainly a good start okay so one thing after the other shall we Maybe start with the supplies and then get the Alarium Crystals. That would probably make sense. Um, we're soon going to have, in 22 hours, we're going to have Intel, which we then might go to the black market and buy some more Alarium, because we will need the Alarium for the research, really. Uh, the weapon research itself takes a lot, Alarium. Seventy two Intel is good. We inspired yet another research. Okay, why not? 
somewhere into a convert. Rehabilitation complete. Finally, Roby's, uh, Roby's negative traits are all gone. And Edgar Alien Poe and Altrana can improve to level 3 on their bond. I love it. Let's directly start. So that would mean both of them are in bond training. It's good. Very good. So here we're going to get level 3. Those two here actually would need level 2. God damn it. They are not even a level 2. Although they do have 7.5 uh, compatibility, so they should be okay. Whatever. So bond training. And three more days until the Templar gets out of the covert ops. Once Hogbite is back, we might decide to put Zirkim on uh, one or two of the covert ops missions. Not sure yet. Uh, as for the infirmary, here are the negative traits. And I think... Yeah, so Roby doesn't have negative traits and Zirkim doesn't have negative traits. Probably the other four here do have negative traits, but we can't remove them currently, which kind of sucks. Um, still, let's take a look here. We're putting data, um, so our specialist in the infirmary. Since elsewise it would be unused. Nice, we got another 64 intel. Oh, wait a second, by the way. Ah, I'm, I almost forgot building the defense matrix here, right? Yeah, I almost forgot about that. Totally my bad. Uh, but 14 days should be fine. Yes, now, as for the research... We want beam cannons and we want plasma lands. So plasma lands re uh, still takes or uh, Archon Autopsy, we can start with that. So we're currently building the defense matrix. Unfortunately, I think we just missed kind of the window. He will attack towards the end of the month, but I think not so close towards the end of the month. That's a bummer because the defense matrix really could have helped us. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. Nice. There are the 15 additional ability points. And now let's take a look what the Covert Ops uh, missions can uh, lead to. So, Dodge plus Reduce Avatar Project uh, sounds like a perfect opportunity for us to take. Um, other than that, Scientist is definitely not bad. I like uh, to increase the Warlocks, um, the Warlocks proximity so that we uh, will be able to raid him. I like the promotion piece here. That's pretty decent as well. Might as well think about... I mean, once Roby is promoted, we might even get him all the way to Colonel. So that's good. Another promotion and resistance contacts. That's a pretty good mission. And the promotion plus the next level of uh, the bo uh, bond. Oh, it's really good. Have a hell lot of promotions here lately. So this here actually 
could mean we're getting a nice little promotion out of it. And the two reach the next bond level. And all of this in seven days. <laughs> How could I say no to that? Really good covert ops missions this time. Whilst we are still researching the Archon, let's get some Elarium Crystals here. That means we're saving our intel to make contact. Nice. Got some more Elarium and some Alien Alloys down here. This, by the way, could be a perfect position for the Shadow Chamber, which we also need. I'm just asking myself, do we need the Shadow Chamber in 15 days? Probably not. We have enough to research without the Shadow Chamber. Might as well let it sit there. So that looks much more like I would want it uh, to be. The defense matrix really needs to finish up. So far, a pretty calm month, but that might change pretty soon. Nice, 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 nice. So from a timing perspective, a couple of things here. Number one, Obi gets promoted, that's perfect. I love it. Good. Number two. So we ha still have a couple of promotions here, by the way, which is great. Number two, the bond training is almost done. The question I'm asking myself is if we're being shot down, uh, shut down, uh, which of the soldiers do we want to use in the mission? I would, again, go with Hockbite Hop and, um, and Roby, and probably... Renvin and Zirkim. That worked quite well the last time. So if we go with that, it effectively means these two here with their bond training currently. Yeah, they could go onto the covert ops missions. If we're putting anyone else on covert ops, such as Roby, for instance, at the moment, um, he might not be there when we're being shot down. On the other hand, we do have data, and data is a pretty good um, step in for Roby, because I think we can defend the Avenger even without Roby. Besides, I would like to get a Wrath suit or two. Actually, quite good, but we're missing the supplies, unfortunately. Um... Okay, so if that's the case, and if Roby can be substituted, I would want to give him another promotion and maybe reduce the avatar progress. Oh no, the, that's not a promotion, that's 10 days. How many days until the end of the month? I want to get uh, two, so 10 days. Okay, which means we need a short mission with a promotion. I think we had one. The loot is good. Uh, but the resistance context plus one is better. So this year... There's an ambush chance, ambush chance. We can... And there's a high chance that someone's... Oh, shit. Well, this mission here has a great reward, but the risks are also pretty high. Um, this year... 
we could get rid of uh, the captured piece but it still has a lot of risk hmm. I still like the promotion to be honest because afterwards I would want to go with the dodge for our Templar because we wanted to stack dodge on him Yeah, let's go for the resistance contact, but we need supplies for it. And we can get the supplies at the black market. Nice, got ourselves 50 of each resource. All right, we don't need a scope at the moment. It's a good price. We should um, retain at least two more sectoids for a mine shield. And the rest is pretty much okay. So, speaking about, okay, now we do have enough supplies. Alright, let's give Roby a couple of rounds here. This here is by the way for um, for his uh, for his covert ops mission. Make weapon available. I think we're going to give him a proper a decent plasma rifle. All right, and he's going to be joined by Cyber. Yeah, we probably don't need the mine shield on Cyber, to be honest. Might as well give him a school check. And a normal plasma weapon is good enough. Okay, so the two of them will go in here and Roby finally gets his colonel out of it. We might run into an ambush mission afterwards, but that's okay. That is okay. Well, it was pretty much a planning month. Uh, almost nothing happened. I wouldn't be surprised if we're now being sh uh, shut down uh, quite fast. Here's one more thing that we could consider. Ah, the bond training still takes three days. Okay, after the three days, we might want to go and invade the alien facility here. It's a great moment. We do have the resources for it, and we should be fine. Let's make contact. All right, uh, finally a mission. Uh, month number 10 was quite quite silent. Uh, we're probably going to go for this one here. Major breakthrough, neutralize the field commander. Mission, mission suggests high levels of psionic enemies present. Losts are also there. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> this year doesn't look like a good mission for us, but I'm still going to do it. I probably, it's going to be fun. Probably. 
All right, we're going to do that in the next video. And until then, I wanted to thank you, um, ask you to please leave a comment down below um, and give the video a like. And we see each other in exactly three days uh, when the next video is being released. Thanks, have a great day, bye bye.